All right, hey guys, Miss Lambert. Today we're going to read Dewey. There's a cat in the library. And this book was written by Vicki Myron and Brett Witter, and it's illustrated by Steve James. So I'm really excited to see what happens when you have a cat in the library. Um, I grew up in Perry, Georgia, and when I was a little girl, we had an amazing bookstore on Carroll Street. I even used to take my own kids there. They had a cat in the bookstore, and that was my favorite part. I love books, but it was my favorite part of going to the bookstore was visiting the cat. So let's see what happens when there's a cat in the library. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. Dewey, there's a cat in the library. Aww. Every night, people left books in the return box at the library in the small town of Spencer, Iowa. Funny books, big books, truck books, pig books, they left them all. But one night, on the coldest night of the year, someone left a strange surprise. A tiny kitten. Oh, when Vicki the librarian found him the next morning, the kitten was cold and scared and very, very dirty. Vicki took one look and decided to give him a warm bath. Well, the kitten went into the sink brown and crying, but he came out orange and purring. I'm going to keep you, said Vicki, who already loved him. We'll name you Dewey. Read more books. You can live here and be our library cat. Oh, but Dewey had no idea what it meant to be a library cat. So he did what all kittens do, he played. He lounged on the newspaper. He rode the book cart. He knocked pins to the floor. He goofed around with Marty Mouse, snooped in every drawer, and he always found at least one rubber band. He is too cute. Oh, but what Dewey loved most of all was people. Tall ones, round ones, quiet ones, loud ones. The little ones, however, surprised him, and not always in a good way. Look, Nathan, said his mommy. There's a cat in the library. Nathan bent down and said, Hi, Dewey, Dewey, No, said his sister, Hannah. It's Dewey read more books. Dewey squirmed. The boy was petting him in the wrong direction. Well, Dewey loved to be petted, but he hated being petted in the wrong direction. Dewey was licking his fur back into place when he heard a strange noise. Ah! Well, Dewey's ears perked up. He looked around. Ah! Ah! Well, Dewey sprang to attention and crept really slowly toward the sound. Well, surprise, the little people, Dewey discovered, came in tiny sizes too, and they loved to giggle and grab and pull and coo. Well, babies are wonderful, Dewey thought, cute and smellalicious too. A few days later, Dewey went exploring and he discovered in a secret room the most exciting thing he'd ever seen. Children's Story Hour. Wowzy whiskers, this looks fun, Dewey thought as he pushed into the room with his nose. Someone shouted, oh, there's a cat in the library. Dewey froze. It was quiet for one minute. Then everything went wild. And the next thing Dewey knew, he was being carried upside down. Oh my, Dewey thought. What should I do now? Whew, late that night, Dewey talked to his friend, Marty Mouse. The library is a wonderful place, Dewey said. But I'm tired of being pulled and poked and carried upside down. I'm just not a cat in the library. I'm a library cat. A library 
Cobra Cat helps people, I think. And I'm 92% convinced that's the reason I'm around. Well, Marty Mouse didn't say anything. I'm going to do it, Dewey said. I'm going to help people. And he felt so happy that he threw Marty Mouse into the air, kicked him with his back legs, then slept on him like a pillow. The next morning when the first people arrived, Dewey was waiting to greet them right by the front door. Well, all morning, Dewey acted like a library cat. He read with the mommies and grandmas. He, he helped daddies, helped the daddies work. He even shelved books with the library clerk. When he saw little Nathan, he turned a circle and a half so the boy could pet his back from his head down to his tail, the right direction to pet a cat. Oh, I'm glad we're friends, De Woolly, Nathan said. Dewey smiled at that. By lunchtime, Dewey was worn out, so he found a good box. First, he put his front paws in, side, then his belly. He squished his back down, wiggled around until he was all the way in and closed his eyes. There's an orange muffin in the library, a girl giggled. <clears throat> but just as Dewey was about to drift off into sweet dreams, he heard a heavy sigh. His eyes popped open and he saw a girl on the other side of the library. A sad little girl reading very quietly, all by herself. He climbed up close and stared at her. She looked the other way. He sniffed her hand. She wouldn't play. He knocked her mittens to the floor. She let him stay. Then he saw her jacket and had his best idea yet. Silly always works. I'll be a silly cat today. Well, the girl stared at Dewey. You look like a fuzzy hot dog in a purple bun, she said. And then she surprised him. She laughed right out loud. I love you, Dewey, read more books, the girl whispered as Dewey nestled into her lap and began to purr. This is it, Dewey thought. I'm a real library cat and it feels great. Now, it felt better than great. It felt perfect. And that's it. So, I guess that's kind of what it would be like if we had a cat in the library. I think that would be incredibly awesome. You guys have a great day, and we'll read again soon.